fact that it's fun, it's actually fun, and we that we win prizes. Um, pacing through time, trying to get the answers, working with my teammates, it's the best thing, the best part. Playing against group. Yes, it does. It's very interesting. It makes everybody think about the questions, especially when they're difficult. Because normally when my class gives me work and books to read, I normally bring it home and put it down. But playing this game, it makes me want to read more. Because it encourages you to read more, and as you read more, you learn more vocabulary. But playing this game, it actually encourages you to do more and try your best. It inspires me to read more. The whole process is to make someone think instead of thinking they were going to get away with it easily. I've seen Cranium Core, first of all, being used in an American government, senior American government classroom, seeing seniors totally engaged in, in a book that they were reading, a novel that they were reading that was tied to the subject area that they were, were um, addressing at the time, and for them to be totally engaged because Cranium Core gives them not only the competition that motivates our students, but um, they can work as teams so your lower readers can be assisted by your higher level readers and they're working in teams competing against each other and, and every single member in the classroom was totally engaged in, in trying to get the right answer, looking for the answer, and of course um, they had to have read the passages on which the questions were being asked in order to, in order to um, win the competition. But um, just seeing the motivation that, that they had, even as seniors, uh, was very, um, in, it, it was inspiring for me, especially since we have, uh, the majority of our students are either reluctant readers or they haven't just been able to find the, the right genre maybe. Every teacher knows that the best way to get a kid to learn is through games, when they don't realize they're learning at all. Um, now, not only do you have to have the knowledge going into Cranium Core, but you have to prove what you're answering. So it's not just a luck of the draw, I guess the right answer. But it gives them a sense of purpose, uh, bragging rights. Uh, when they win or when they score the points, they, they can have that sense of self-worth. ACTs, ACTs, FCAT, uh, Common Core, all of that is based off of higher order questions, textual evidence. In order to get their point, at least the way we play it, you have to be able to explain your answer. So, you know, if, if you're just guessing, it's not doing you any good. So they have to rationalize, they have to, they have to go back and find it in the work. Um, so not only do they need to be familiar with the text, but they need to be able to go back and say, oh, that's on page six. You know, you go find it, I'll go find this. So I think it, it helps them learn to micromanage passages. My students love Cranium Core. Cranium Core is a great tool for the students, especially here at Glade Central. It gives the students the opportunity to use different modalities. Um, teachers have the opportunity to have students generate questions. Um, teachers can also generate questions, and it provides a fun activity for students to assist with learning. Um, we have, we're fortunate to have um, our media specialist who's very familiar with Cranium Court, who's rolled it out with um, many of our teachers. And um, I've had the opportunity to sit in the media center while it was going on, and I was very fascinated at the level of our students and their abilities to answer questions that sometimes are difficult for them on paper and pencil and the, um, with the use of the technology. So as we move forward into what we're, it move forward into the world, uh, and the use of the technology, I'm very proud of the way we've integrated it into the academic success of our students. Um, recently, our media specialist introduced me to a new tool to use in the classroom, and I'm always looking for new tools to get my kids excited about the literature that we're reading. I teach AP literature, and so a lot of the stuff that we read is very high level, it's old, it can be dense and difficult for the students to be interested or excited about, and so I decided to use Cranium Core is a method to review as we were reading Hamlet. Um, while we were reading it, the kids would write some of their own questions, they got excited about it, they would debate over whether or not a question was high level or low level, if it was just simple recall, and they'd, oh, that's too easy, and they'd throw it out. Um, anything that can get this level of engagement from your students on a text that's as difficult as 
as Hamlet can be, um, is an amazing tool and something that's definitely worth a look at. Once we actually started using the quizzes, all the kids were engaged, even the kids that were more reluctant, kids that hadn't been reading the book but had been kind of skating through and pretending to have read it, actually started to go back and read what they were supposed to have read because they had to defend their answers with the text. So it was a great way to get kids actually to read what they were supposed to be reading. Um, so as I said, it's an amazing tool. It's worth looking at in any discipline, not just English, but again, if it can get a kid interested in Shakespeare, it can get them interested in just about anything.